We've just made um, a new work called We Put the World Before You, which is um, a film installation, a uh, follow-up to a work that we made in 2014, um, and that work was entitled uh, Undead Sun. The title We Put the World Before You is actually a quote from Charles Zabon. He was a big pioneer for early cinema, very much about looking at um, you know, things you wouldn't ever normally have seen revealed, so microscopic close-up photography. But he had a real conviction that cinema was something that was there to be, um, t to be there for education. It is entirely shot uh, using a boroscope lens. A boroscope lens means that you can sort of um, film extreme close-up detail, but obviously when you go wide with this lens, you have a kind of uh, vignetting, a softening around the edges, or a slight distortion that kind of gives it um, very much a, fi a filmic feel, but also very much a kind of period feel as well. It's interesting, this mm -hmm. particular project, um, which I suppose made it quite distinct from the other works that we've done, in that it really worked with um, science in terms of directly in, in quite a collaborative way, working with FaceLab, who are based in Liverpool and run by Caroline Wilkinson. So the process of creating the um, average soldier was actually a process of uh, looking at the um, average soldier that was uh, wounded with facial wounds during the First World War. With Caroline, she's able to create um, an average with, I think, 25 images. At certain points, there are dissolves between the images that we got from the Mortimer collection. You kind of see a ghosting, perhaps, of some of the wounds, but they're not um, perhaps so explicit as the still images. And in fact, the face is fully formed at the end. We were looking with Undead Sun very much at archive from that time, from 1914. So now we, we've moved um, way up to 1978, a late night TV show which is called Ladies Night. And it involved an audience of women encountering three hypnotists. 1978 would have been 60 years since the end of the First World War. So it would have been a kind of marking point in a sense. So, you know, you kind of always had that, um, that uh, reference back to what was Edwardian. There was a reworking in fashion and etc. cetera. Um, and so the way the ladies look is almost this kind of sort of um, 70s Edwardian version of what would have been, you know, fashions in the First World War in a way. We put the world before you is very much about imagining how um, this idea of a seance or a hypnosis session or something would put you back in touch with something that's lost. We're also looking through the protagonist of the hypnotist, but he's actually giving them suggestions of operating their mobile phone screen. So, of course, they're looking forward, in a sense, to now, but zooming into an image and uh, swiping the image and also thinking about sort of I suppose present day and where we are now and it's sort of the realm of selfies etc that actually these self-portraits but these images that uh, form the average head and form the average soldier it was important to have something of that technology um, implicit within um, the the gestures that the women are making and also I suppose as well to know that the screen is something that we have const constantly with us as something mm -hmm. that fills a void yeah exactly